Ms. Karst, our lolly bodyguard. She's been pretty much hiding her identity up until like episode seven, right? And as soon as the mask is off, or should I say mask is on for Oliver, she's a demon. I want to be like the wedding stone or so whetstone something for your blade. Like you want us to fucking use our blade to grind on you. She is an actual demon and I love it. I didn't know what kind of personality she would have. But at the end of the last episode, I think that pretty much tells us that she is down for Oliver's horn. Let's begin today's reaction though. Petra. Oh, he's moaning. Or shall I say she's moaning? Hey, careful. Careful. No, it's Petra right now. Don't leave, leave her alone. Uh oh, uh oh. I see them titties. I see them titties. The side boob. You know how they usually do mana transfers in these kind of shows? Usually it's, you know, some sort of exchange of fluids. But I guess this show isn't going to handle like that. Yo, bro, we need to get... We need to get Petra some bra, man. Like, he just been going commando. Is that a pregnant stomach? Who? That seems super important. It looks like someone's pregnant and Oliver was like doing something to alleviate the pain. Oh, even a head pat? Wow. Wow. He's not being all... Okay. I was going to say, he's usually super sin today. And be like, don't touch me, but he was smiling there for a second. Oh, we are coming out with it. Just to our like core group though. Now, what I'm more wonder interested in is when Oliver will come out to our group about his actual identity, what we're trying to do. Will he recruit all of these people? Probably. I mean, that's a delicate area. <laughs> oh really? Yo. <laughs> You stored a mana in your womb? Now, this is why I said, guys, the transfer of fluid, especially into the womb, is how mana gets, you know, transferred in different shows, but... Whoa. You're feeling an orgasm. <laughs> the stored mana in this womb is just coming out! What? what? Ain't no way! The womb is gonna make Peach so much stronger, but it is. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Nano. I mean, yeah. Nano should be able to do it too, right? Doesn't that mean inherently women have an advantage? Hey, careful, careful. But inherently, women have like a, an advantage because they have the womb? Cross dressing arc incoming. I actually like him. Last episode, I did not like him, but I don't know. I feel like we're going to be good friends. He was introduced as an asshole, but I think he has a lot of redeeming features. And he's also very like self-aware and like upfront. Like, look, he already gives up. Wonder why he has such an interest in Pete. He must know that Pete's a reversi, right? Maybe he too is a reversi? Oh, shit. It's the McFarlane wannabe. Not really, because she's still she's distant branch, right? Hmm. Yeah, what's going on? Well, I don't really have that high of an expectation from her. Ordinary? Isn't she kind of ordinary too? Ah, oh, Pete, come on, man. Pete, you got a spellblade, bro? You got a spellblade, right? Everybody's hiding a spellblade, right? Nah, oh, man, we're just fucking getting bodied. Yeah, remember what, what happened to the distance closing? Remember? We always go with Tony to this, man. Use the reversi power! Yeah, it's gonna be a different moment, right? Pete's voice also sounds very feminine in this battle. I don't know, I feel like girl mode is on. Even the scream. That's kind of embarrassing, but... Just because you got a bit of attention? Yo, she mad that Pete's pulling in all the guys? Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. The teacher. Right. Pete was sucking the teacher's dick more than she was. Mm. Reversey. Reversey. Spellblade. Reversey Spellblade. Eight Spellblade. Come on, Pete. Come on, Pete. Pakistan! Something! Oh? I mean, that's not some... 
It's not really like the now footwork, but still. No. That's that's we should have won there. No, we should have won there. We should have won there. Nah, that. That's some bullshit. Hmm. Maybe we can say it's a tie, but at the end there, if there was a little bit more time, I think she was done. The last part had a lot of potential. Plus, you weren't using your true powers, right? I hope he's actually super OP if he uses his reversey powers later on. Humiliate? That's not our intention, though. Damn. She is just so bitter about everything, huh? True, but still, come on, bro. Oh! Yo, is he hitting on Pete or what? What's going on here? Maybe he's down, bro. I don't know. Like, what is up with this guy and his interest in Pete? Oh, we get to skip his fight? Aw. A secret base. Are we kind of down? We need some kind of HQ for Oliver's team to set up. I think that's what this is leading to. Uh, the number of trolls that's slain per year. I was close. I was close. I wouldn't say it's for nothing. Because, like, the opposition strictly wants to call those people. I, I know what Katie's trying to say, but they have a very evil intent on what they're trying to do with the demi-humans, right? They don't see them as proper living beings. I wonder if Katie's, like, crusade to be for, like, pro demi-humans is going to somehow help Oliver in his overall goal. Nana is in. Yeah! We got our own treehouse! Damn. <laughs> the Riz is insane. <laughs> This is why Nana is a harem. Both guys and girls. True? Wait, weren't all of you saying this was too early? <laughs> Did we just find from? No, Katie, okay, that's a terrible idea, too. Alright, we're all in, because we're friends, you know? Yeah. But. Okay. Hey, he's an Yaris in the first half! Now, this has to be, like, setting up for the future, because I would imagine that Oliver and his group of friends here is going to be, like, a special faction for his overall goal, and this is going to be used as some kind of, like, HQ. Katie's knowledge with the, the fauna and stuff like that is really helpful in cases like this. Like, you know, Katie's role is definitely unique. She might not be the best fighter, but she has, like, she has a specific role no one else can, you know, fill. Water? Air? So intense in sabotaging our incense? <laughs> the labyrinth is so fucked up, man. What do you mean? What do you mean your butt didn't make it? Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. It's, it's not that bad. A learning experience? No, Pete needs the learning experience for that. Ooh. Oh, who is this dude? What the? Group of senpais, maybe? Uh, are we... Freshmen? What, what are y'all doing here? It's a camping club? The Labyrinth Gourmet Club. So it's like a club full of people who intentionally go to the labyrinth to cook. That's just dangerous. <laughs> That's exactly right! You're poisoned! Oh. Yeah, I don't think I joined this club. I'm, I'm good. Oh, they're faint? Really? Hold up. Mr. Kevin Walker. What? He's like a big deal? The grocery store? Okay, is there a grocery store here? I don't know how that even works. The school just pretty much feeds them. You just, it's just a labyrinth merchant? How, how do you... It's just a labyrinth merchant here? I mean, sure, okay. This looks like all ingredients for a hot pot, man. Let's go. Damn. For free? Okay, I don't know how much that actually... Is that a good deal? Good deal or no? Uh, she's investing into her own business, you know? <laughs> she can't have them dying. It's like, you know, take this food, do well. Survive, come back. Maybe we're just gonna have like a little barbecue in our HQ, you know? Our whole new home base, a celebration. This is pretty cool. Everybody has their own like little dorms and stuff. 
A secret vase, huh? Pretty big. You get a ping pong table in here, I'm in. Safe house, but also, I feel like, yes, a real secret base. Because they don't know. But like, sooner or later, they're all gonna be invited, you know? <laughs> but they're all gonna get invited to join for the ultimate goal of killing the teachers for revenge, right? Meaning, this place is gonna be used for, you know, planning, strategy. It's actually our home base. Aww. Chella doesn't get enough screen time. She's great. Mm. The teacher killing treehouse. The teacher killers. Team uh, revenge against teachers. Uh, what what else is there? No, no. the sixth blade. I don't know. Oh, shit. Yo, we're about to do something ceremonial like warriors. Oh. Damn. This is some like Knights of the Round Table shit. You just fucking put your sword in the middle and just a toast. Oh. Actually, kind of looks pretty. Sworn comrades. No. You just remember this beautiful shape. Oh, I know the future. Y'all gonna be killing your teachers. A future of killing teachers. Yes, the rose that we brought together here and now is gonna be important. That's right. When we're killing them teachers, we will never be torn apart. The sword roses. Maybe it becomes an actual official, like, uh, team. Some kind of, like, actual squadron. Some kind of faction in Oliver's overall army. Yeah, everybody's blushing. <laughs> oh, Cello's being so... What's the word? Expressing her feelings this episode. Yeah, we had a barbecue. We're just making, like, a pact. Let's go. Team Sword Roses. Yeah. But surely Oliver understands that this will inevitably lead to his goal, right? What is he thinking about that? Felt more like a setup episode this time, right? We're kind of preparing for something. I'm not sure what it is, but we have a home base. And we have our squad, the Sword Roses. Little do they know, Oliver's going to have to tell them, Hey, by the way, would y'all be interested in killing our own teachers? When is that topic ever going to be brought in? It's too early. It's way too early. But I know that later on, it's inevitably going to have to be told. And there's something special because Shella's dad is a teacher, part of this secret council of teachers. Remember that one episode where the, pr the principal, the headmistress, was having a meeting trying to discuss who killed Darius? But you guys also told me Shella's dad was not part of the original um, moment when they killed Oliver's mom, meaning he's been brought in after that fact. So I'm thinking to myself, maybe we don't have to kill Shella's dad. And therefore, we don't have this conflict with, you know, having Chella come on our team. What if the dad is a double agent? Wouldn't that be fucking insane? He's actually, like, acting like he's on the council of teachers and trying to do shit like that. But actually, he's on our side. I have a feeling he's going to be that kind of character, hopefully. Anyways, if you're still here, if you, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.